Okay, being a black folks, and this is a very important video because this is data that's been removed. I'm going to hit play. Thank you from a standard YouTube guy, and I don't have time for to say thanks. But I think you can hear me. If you've been watching the magnetosphere, this is Earth going through space. The sun is out here to the right in the supergiants because that's what lights Earth up here. This is a satellite that's circular. On March 12th, there's data missing. The data will be missing for what I just showed you if you go to their deals. We may, this is good information because this is might be what the worst that possibly ever could have happened is already happened. Okay? You're getting a little bit of high winds right now and high temperatures. Okay? So you will go there to these here and you will see missing data. Okay, now you see this? This is wild. The magnetosphere seems to have reversed as far as this data that is missing. You see what you see and you'll never see this happen to that thing again. It's not a glitch. Now, our current, our coronal is so huge, I think we've even realized that it's bigger than what we think it is, okay? Because of I of what you've seen from other planets that we see the reactions, which they've always called an inner camera flare, which basically, so I believe that we have a bigger coronal than we even thought that we believed we had. I'm not saying our magnetic structure has reversed. But make up your own mind because this data is missing. Okay? All these dates and times on this data that you're going to see here, and as I can't even get back on that right now, the first shot, they're covering it up. They don't want this data to be seen. So let me see if I can click it back one more time. No, you're not going to get that. This stuff is all missing. If you go to 312, 2012, you will not see this. Okay? All this data has been removed. Data, truth, 24 7, Beano Black. SCADA, Supervisory Control and Data Acquisition. And yes, they have the ability to supervise your control, control and remove the data, and they have. So, you go looking for this. So, you go to the Japanese one and that's where you'll get the best. And then they're going to be able to use the excuse that they were working on the other one, the Aurora and everything like that, whatever. We caught this data, okay? And something from behind us pushing in on us is probably the meatball. Now, hopefully it only hit the coronal. I'm not trying to scare anybody, but something is going on out in space, and I've showed you the pictures. That's why the counts were high on my video, okay? So you can see this here, lower right. All right. See this? Watch this push there. See that push? So let's try to go to Sechi and see what we can find out there. Because I beg anybody and challenge anybody to find a big burst like this on any data anywhere in the past. Okay? You're not going to find it. Okay? Not even this. Okay? This all happened.
All right, and uh, Greenland has always been a joke name that I think it was uh, not Eric the Red, but it was, uh, well, you can go to the guy that discovered, and he basically uh, called Greenland, Greenland, to get people to go there because it's Iceland, okay? Iceland, I mean, Greenland is Greenland, and Greenland is melting, okay? Uh, Greenland is melting. Look at any pictures down at Earth of Greenland, which is normally Iceland, okay? Let me show you that. And here's some more rads, Dad. I'm going to roll you through here real fast. Okay, this is all real. If it's missing, it's missing because they don't want you to see it. Okay? And where you seen was high was at here, South Dakota. Okay, and then we're going to keep going down. We'll go through some more rads. This is all rads of CPM. You know what that is. It's radiation. Just scroll back and freeze these. So, and then we're going to go ahead and see where we can get it from Sechi and take a look at Greenland, Iceland is the nice warm weather one and Greenland is the icy cold continent up there. So there's the last year rad report for today, and as you can see, the date is all concurrent. Very light snow cover, in the way up northwest territories, up Greenland and so forth. And as you see, Greenland has all that no snow. Okay, normally full of snow everywhere up there, and a lot less up here. And basically, also, we'll scoot down to pretty much the only snow cover you got in North America is what you have right there. Okay. Uh, very low snow cover up in Canada, Northwest Territories. Okay. This is pretty much our temperature bandwidth that comes in through here. There's a lot of warmth right through here. The only cold air is staying is right up here in the Rockies. Okay, and let's go down to, and we can show you the snurt down here in uh, Antarctica. Anybody from the Midwest knows what snurt is when you have a snurty winter, you got dirty winter, dirty snow, i.e. dirty snow. And l let's see what we can zoom in and find on the coasts. And I'm not sure how often that they update this down there. Let me scoot around and look. So here's some Antarctica where there's no snow cover, which is unusual. Not highly unusual. There are parts of the coast that have maybe that somebody will even go, well, it's been like that for ages, but not really, not this farther in. Okay. Out towards the outside of the coast, but not farther in. And as you see, they got snurt dirt in very brightness. These are satellite photos that end up getting impregnated into the visualization of, and as you see, brown means no snow. And this is the one that I know that gets updated the most is in telecast. So, have looks around all over Earth and see what's going on with temperatures, high temperatures. And as you see, there's a little bit of art in here now that they used to not have because they used to actually have some cover-up. Now they have some art covering up certain things that we won't talk about. Snurt Antarctica, folks. Snurt Dirty Snow. Antarctica. All right, so have a look around all over Earth. Start looking into fires also. Here's the latest updated fire map. Wow, worked too fast there. Sorry about that. Here we go. 
Whoa, there we go. Let that come back up. There you go. There's fire index again. Not nearly fire index. It's where the fires are at. Let's go over to U.S. Take a look. Take a good look. If I zoom in anymore, they disappear. Okay. If you zoom out, they'll stay there. But if you zoom in, they'll cover up the fires in the U.S. there. Okay. As you see now, they just zoomed in. It'll disappear. Watch. Get over to the left. See how the fires in the U.S. disappear? Now they're back up. Let's see if they stay there. We'll zoom in a little bit. Uh, they're staying there this time. No, bye bye. They go now. They're there. Let's give you the earthquakes in on that. Also, there's your. Basically, this is very dry areas, and the yellow is also dry. Where you see this, this is more safer. More normal conditions. Uh, Mexico ain't gonna show you the truth down here, as you see. They will not tell you the truth down there. Gets cut off U.S. sensing there, and then uh, let's show you earthquakes. There's some truth for you. Okay, a couple quakes over here. Uh, let's see if we can get them to come up. 1.6. It's not very big, but still, you got an earthquake. 1.5. Okay, let's see if we can scroll out an earthquake map. This is from IntelliCast. Sharing news. So, probably going to be some volcano action up in Hawaii. I mean, as much, I mean, we already know, we've seen that light propagation, but we're probably going to start seeing some action. And there's also a fire over in Hawaii there somewhere, too. So, hang on for a second. As you can see, there's a fire in Hawaii, and then we'll zoom in a little bit, and we'll give a temperature check. Oh, she's going to play around with us. Then we'll do a temperature check. So common sense is what this is going to mean with got all this cold air up here. Is we're going to end up with tornadoes down here somewhere, because we have heat over here, the cold there, the cold over here. And the warmth in here, and heat meeting cold. So check your lo local radar and track. Okay, don't just trust trust in telecast, but it's telecast a pretty good one. And here's got all your temperatures. So when we got all this cold air over here, <coughs> very unusual positioning and con in conditions for this time of year. Uh, you do know we have axis action. Something's up. Okay, and there you go with temperatures, folks. Holy heat waves in certain parts of the country in North America, Canada, okay? 72, 73 in Winnipeg. Put your shorts on. Holy buckets. So we do know that harp exists. We do know that weather modification exists. And we do know that, well, whatever, this is the temperatures. And this is unusual as hell. And California was telling the truth. That it's been quite cool over there. Northern California. It's normally cold this time of year, but that's this is actually somewhat normal, but a very cold day. It'll be like a rainy day, winter day over there. And but we are I ordered this weather, I guess. <laughs> Only buckets, it's nice and warm. It's nice over here. Toasty toasty. Toasty toasty. So what's really going on, folks? Okay, because that's your temperature map for today. Okay? There's your date and time right down here in the corner. Unusual factual okay it is 80 something out east 84 86 florida uh it's march okay uh 75 carolina is there not totally unusual but for this time early records over here these are records up here this is all record right here. Record, 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 record. This has got to be. So like I say, when that warm and that cold air meet, there's going to be tornadoes. So I'd be aware. You hear a train, take cover. If you know you don't have a train around you normally, you hear a train, that is a flipping tornado. Take cover. Underground, culvert, anything you can get into. Basement, take shelter. So there you go. There's going to be twisters somewhere with this whole... Uh, cold and warm air meeting together sometime during the week. I'll let you know.